This is Brett Michaels and my cohort, uh, Ricky Rocket. Richard. <laughs> don't freak you out for a little while. Yeah, I'm not going to go, hello, you Rook Marvelous. Uh, you know, that. It's never going up in the South. It really was. I was only Korean guy within like four states, so it's kind of rough. You know, remember playing Army as a kid? <laughs> See, I hated this game, man. All my buddies would go, okay, and it's the neighborhood against you. <laughs> we'll give you a head start. <laughs> so I'm booking down the road, man. We spot a lot of cowboys and Indians, too, don't we, guys? Cowboys and Indians, you guessed I hated this game, too, man. I was always the cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard for one got a bit of railroad, too. That was kind of tough. But. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But I live out here in Los Angeles now. I live down in Hermosa Beach. Great area like it down there. Yeah, I got some Hermosa Beach. Yeah, it's cool, man. I'm learning how to surf, too, which is the coolest, man. Coolest. And all the other surfers watch me, not because I'm any good. They just don't think I'm coming back up. It's pretty much... <laughs> But they go, dude, you're learning? I go, yeah. They go, you should start on a really big board. So I'm surfing on my garage door right now. And they always go, what kind of board's that? I go, it's a genie board, man. <laughs> hey, don't push that button. I'll flip over. What are you doing? What are you doing that? Little garage door joke. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I just bought the shirt tonight, but actually I didn't get to buy it. You know, I, buy, I can't pick out clothes in my life. Guys can't do that. But you start dressing better because girls help us, right? Yeah. I say, you know, you go, hey, man, nice shirt. How long have you been going out? Because <laughs> guys are good at buying one thing, I figured out. We're good at buying flowers. But we don't know what kind of buy. We just know when to buy. Because we know when we screwed up. <laughs> and thank God for 24-hour grocery stores with a floral apartment. <laughs> now, I can't count the towns at midnight. I come running in there. There's already four guys looking in the refrigerator. Man, they better have some more in the back. We're all screwed. <laughs> What'd you do anyway? <laughs> I stirred her up, man. How many flowers is that? Three or four? <laughs> Where's that conversion chart at? It's usually around there somewhere. <laughs> four flowers off the hook. <laughs> I hate shopping for any guys. We, we can't buy nothing, man. I hate shopping with girls. That always ticks me off. I hate going with girls. Because girls always go, Henry, let's go to the mall. I go, honey, if I want to be around clothes that have never been worn, I'll sit in your closet for an hour. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do. I hate going. But my favorite thing about girls, I love girls the way y'all talk. You have your own language and your own pitch. Sometimes my girlfriend will be talking about me. You know, that pitch that only girls and, like, dogs can hear? <laughs> oh, yeah. Amy will be talking to her friend about me, and I'll go, what'd you say? And she'll go, oh, nothing. And the dog will go, <laughs> You better take me for a walk, Henry. Because you suck. You better go buy some flowers or something, man. But my favorite thing about girls is the way y'all talk, because y'all have your own language. Girls repeat words, and it changes the whole meaning of the word. Oh, yeah. But sometimes she'll go, oh, Henry, we'll go shopping, but we won't go shopping, shopping. <laughs> See, every girl knows what that means. We're glad we're close, because every girl says this, too. Oh, I like him, but I don't like him like him. <laughs> yeah. I'll go out with him, but I won't go out, out. <laughs> I kissed him, but it wasn't a kiss kiss. <laughs> See, my buddy, guys don't do this. My buddy freaked me out, because the other night I said, hey, I'm with Amy last night. He goes, really? Was it a date date? Yeah, as a date date, I spent money, money. I didn't get a kiss kiss. So now I'm pissed pissed. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> but my buddies are getting married. It's freaking me out. All my buddies are getting married. The next guy's getting married. He's a big goob head, man. He's a stupid in. I swear, he's the dumbest guy God ever put on his earth. I swear he is, man. Because here's what he did as a kid. When he, his name's J.B., J.B. Stewart. And when he applied for his driver's license at 17, he didn't want them to think that J.B. stood for anything. So on the application, he wrote, J. Only, B. Only, Stewart. And it came back, J. Only, B. Only, Stewart. <laughs> I swear. He was going, look at this, Henry. J. Only, B. Only, Stewart. <laughs> Shazam. How'd it go? Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks.
Now that was the comedy of Henry Cho. Coming up next, very funny woman, Suzanne Souter, and the age-old theatrical tradition of the exchanging of the mints. You need this more than me. Stick it in. I'm getting that safe wrapper off. She's up next. <laughs> Any opportunities, advancement, community service, but mainly whatever you say or play gets blasted over the airwaves. I am the god of hellfire! Win an actual working radio station with a big tower and everything. Play your own music. Here's Wild Thing 35 times in a row. Break new bands. This is my brother's group, Low Self Esteem. Introduce Billy Idol, who will appear live at your station as your personal guest DJ. Wow! With the rebel, yeah! Hey, is this on? And so you won't be tempted by payola. We'll even throw in $10,000 to win your own radio station, the controls, the DJ booth, the turntables, the mics, the entire record library, the Billy Idol appearance. Make a 95-cent phone call to 1-900-786-2222 or write your name, age, address, and phone number on a postcard and send it to MTV Radio Station, P.O. Box 34986, Omaha, Nebraska, 68134. It's more than a career. It's a chance to say, Hi, Mom. This MTV contest sponsored by Pepsi and Volkswagen. The MTV Half Hour Comedy Hour is sponsored by Volkswagen. Take your average family trip. But take it in a not-so-average family car. The new Volkswagen Passat. The Passat wagon comes with four-wheel disc brakes. Got plenty of room for your family. And best of all, far Nugent, which means you might even forget you're driving a family car. <laughs> Are we there yet? Well, maybe not. far Nugent, it's what makes a car a Volkswagen. Nice logo, too. A monster devours your planet in Havadox for Nintendo. Do you have the guts to battle inside the belly of the beast? Fight ugly eyeballs, twisted worms, skeleton fish, guardian ghouls, and save the planet from total destruction. Havadox for your Nintendo. Something else entirely. New West, the new skin scent for him by Aramis. Halloween, you get tricked by those ghoulish network shows. <coughs> but this year, Ha presents a TV comedy treat. Oh, would you like to make a lonely ghost <coughs> very happy? On October 31st, you're invited to Ha's 24 hour walkathon. <coughs> it's the best of the best of Mark and Mindy. So your fresher, drier. Safe, gentle, feminine deodorant protection with powder. Be confident with FDS. Okay, I'm going to read you your rights. You have you the right, have to, be the right to be on television. Get with it. You have the right to say, yes, baby, yes, baby, yes, baby. Do it. You have the right not to remain silent. You have the right to do the succotash, succotash, the baby doll, the freedom, and the groovy way. You have the right to say do it. whatever's on your mind. You have the right to vote. Use it or lose it. treat for you. Our next guest, you may have seen her. She appeared in Robert Townsend's special series, Partners in Crime. And next year at this time, she hopes to be working with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. How about a nice, warm welcome for Suzanne Souter. Reach out and touch. <laughs> <laughs> 
change. Make this world a better place. Oh, get away, your breast stinks. If you can reach out and touch, not really, somebody's hand. Security, security, get all these people away from me. Make this world a better place. Get away, get away from my hair. If you can. is really like that. But she's probably horrible to be around when she's got PMS, huh? My <laughs> weed! Well, I got into that, huh? <laughs> Woo! One of my favorite singers to do is Anita Baker. I love Anita Baker. She's, she's fabulous. What a great singer. But she seems very sleepy when she sings, right? She's got a very sleepy vibe about her. She's kind of like this. <laughs> Can you, can you do the last down a little bit, honey, please? <laughs> you know, I've been on the road with Luther for a long time. And I'm tired. <laughs> but I'm going to still see my Sony fans because you've been so wonderful to me. But remember, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, here I go. But da 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 Water commercials with those models. I want to see it done like this. I drink water because it's good for my body. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> well, I hope I've proven to you guys that I'm a knucklehead, truly a goofy person. And it's such a trip trying, you know, trying to have a relationship, but being a comic. I mean, it's crazy because I'm, I'm, I'm goofy, right? It's crazy, especially when I'm making love, okay? <laughs> like right before my man's about to reach this special moment. And I have not, I have not reached my special moment. You know, all of a sudden to prolong a little bit, make it last a little longer, all of a sudden I just go like this. <laughs> the helium lady. Turns him off and he has to work it again. Yeah. That's right, the ladies get that. It's for the ladies. It's a great face also if a guy's bugging you at a bar. Sit. Where you going? love it's crazy I just think this is for the, my sets for the ladies but we've got to become stronger when it comes to love we just do and that's why you need to read Robin Givens and Bridget Nielsen's new book it's called excellent tips on how to sabotage a bachelor's car house apartment pants shoe anything sabotage number one you think he's on the phone with the other girl cough <coughs> oh excuse me <laughs> that doesn't work turn the TV to a comedy and laugh Oh, sorry, it's so funny, you know. <laughs> but this is the best tip of all. You spend the night over his house, you have a wonderful evening, and then the next morning, you know, volunteer to make up his bed, and when he's not looking, take your panties off and put them way in the corner of the bed, in that fitted sheet crease corner. You never can fold it. There's always a lump in it, right? Because one night, when the other girl comes over, he and she are going to think everything's perfect. But then all of a sudden, the other girl's toe will pick up the panties like toe radar. Boom! <laughs> track. Oh. <laughs> Come on, she lip syncs everything. I saw her accept an award and she lip synced her interview. <laughs> but what I like to do
do for you, the closest to lip syncing I'll come to is Sade. Would you give me Sade? Coming up next is John Panette. John, what are you eating for? You're on next. It's vegetables. They're good for me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. The vegetables are all good. Stay away from I'm the buffet. Just... Stay away from the buffet. John Panette, up next. A day. Stay Wonderful. away from the table. Come on, Ken. The Hot Seat. MTV's new show where the superstars play their favorite videos and yours. Hi, this is Brett Michaels of Poison. I want you to be hanging with us because we're going to be here all week on the hot seat. Be there. Hot videos, hot music. Every week, another hot artist. Get into the hot seat. Every weeknight at 7.30, 6.30 Central on MTV. Mrs. Susan Amato of Teaneck, New Jersey writes, I really want a Volkswagen Jetta, but what exactly does Farfignugan look like? Well, Mrs. Amato, did you see it? Farfignugan. It's what makes a car a Volkswagen. equipment and ski wear you've seen pre-season and end of season sales but during season you probably paid close to retail prices well now you no longer have to at the area's newest ski shop now discounting brand name ski gear and clothing every week the cutting edge Baltimore's new discount ski shop where everything starts I said starts at 40% off and more see us in Towson and save did you see that article about cable yeah, but I don't understand what the big deal is. Just take a look at your bill. I don't know. My cable bill is lower than my phone bill. You know, I don't think those guys really care about me. What do you mean? Well, take my cable company. Who's that? Comcast Cable. No service problems, and I get more channels than I know what to do with. Yeah, but where else in life do you get so much choice? Hmm. Hey, I can't imagine life without it. on the show. I've had the pleasure of seeing this guy work a lot. He's one of Boston's top comics. You will be seeing him in an upcoming movie called Thanksgiving Day, which is opening on Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving. Very good. You've read the program. And Caesars Tahoe, a nice warm welcome for John Panette. Let 
Slim Fast stuff. It's great. Throw a couple scoops of Hagen dazs in there. Yeah, I have that in a lean cuisine. Yeah, I like the lean cuisines. I mean, you got to eat four or five of them to fill you up, but they're all right. Uh, I think we should pause right now for a commercial message. The rock and roll video of the 80s has arrived. All the great bands of rock and roll sung by... Alvin Simon Tiago! Chipmunk rock video with Bon Jovi! Oh, a halfway there, a holly and a prayer. I'm a chipmunk, and I see her horse I ride. I'm hurting, get her high ride. Shopping the heart, and you're to blame. You give Alvin a bad name. And if you act now, you get chipmunk reggae. Chipmunk Funk with Miami Sound Machine. Come on, let's get out of here. Do that call line here. I can't trust up any longer. Oh. You like that, huh? Let me do that again. Come on, let's get out of here. Do that call line. Uh, look at that. I can Vogue, too. Come on, Vogue. This is good. I've had a bad couple of weeks. I had a cold last week, and you know, I try to make my cold better. I took this NyQuil. Have you had it? <laughs> it's good stuff, huh? Wow, they warn you, too. It says right on the NyQuil, may make you drowsy. <laughs> drowsy. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> drowsy, I don't like that word. That's a bad word. Coma, coma's a better word. <laughs> They put you into a coma. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Because if you'll notice in these NyQuil commercials, they always take the NyQuil in bed. Now see, that's a hint. <laughs> yeah. That means this is as far as you're going. <laughs> you should take the NyQuil right here. Because I took it in the kitchen. <laughs> and I stayed there for about 16 hours. <laughs> Well, the snuffy, sneezy, coffee, achy, how the hell did I get in my kitchen floor medicine? <laughs> it's unbelievable. I just kind of lied there, right on the kitchen floor. Luckily, I had my medic alert thing. I've fallen and I can't get up! So don't take this NyQuil. Plus the directions on NyQuil make me nervous. You read it, it says, do not operate heavy equipment. <laughs> I am heavy equipment, I'm not using this. <laughs> do not exceed recommended dosage. Right. Now have you tasted it? <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna make milkshakes all day on this stuff. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> take Comtrex, I like that. Comtrex. Makes you forget you've had a cold. <laughs> Doesn't help your cold, it screws up your memory. That's how they get you. Hi, John, how's your cold? <laughs> well, who are you? <laughs> well, I'm your brother. Well, get out of here, I have a cold. <laughs> and plus, oh, horrible things have been happening to me. I bought a car last week. I bought one of those Mazda Miatas. And well, I haven't gotten in it yet, I'll be real honest with you. You know what happened? I had to buy it because I went looking at it and I kicked the tire and the car went sailing across the parking lot. And it was just too broke for anybody else to buy. They're good cars though, these Miatas. You rub them on the carpet, they'll go. Oh, what else has been happening? I was watching a movie today because my gym was closed. I wasn't being lazy or nothing. Yeah. I want you to know that. 
Yeah, I watched Batman. Have you seen Batman? Yeah, you know, I don't picture Michael Keaton as Batman. You know who I'd like to see? That guy Tattoo from Fantasy Island. Yeah. Hey, you're Tattoo. No, I am the Batman. No, you're not. You say the plane, the plane. No, I am the Batman. Oh, uh, well, this is great. What do you say we all go to an Oyakini buffet? Come on, let's go. Yeah. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't go to the buffet for the food. I go to scare the managers. Yeah. Because I grab a plate of food like everybody else. But I walk in, they look at me like I'm going to eat the whole restaurant for $5.99. <laughs> Jimmy, get in here. There's a fat guy. Don't look. Bring the prime rib back in the kitchen. That's the way they feel. That's fine. I kick down the door and go, I'm starving. <laughs> Can we help you, sir? Yeah. I got me and 10 of my friends from Weight Watchers. <laughs> We're going off the wagon tonight. Can you help us out? We're starving! My name's John Panetta. Thank you very much. Have a good one. You guys were so you know, funny. You know, you don't get a spread you like this on other shows. Fabulous. I just want you to know that. This is Where's wonderful. Vegetables are great. Is real? Oh, yes, we're good. Harry, John, Jim, I've always I'm just having the salary. I'm watching myself. Well, he's going to have four. Oh, I put the Heimlich in there. Hey, you want some of this? The Heimlich. The Heimlich. <laughs>